I did something that an introvert probably wouldn't do. And let me tell you, it changed my perception of doing things by myself. Hey everybody. I just wanted to give you an update on probably the greatest day of my life. On June 25th, I went to... Was it the 25th? Really? Wait, what day was it? Was it the best day of my life? I don't even remember what day it happened. Aha, uh -huh, okay, 24th. So on June 24th, I attended the mathematics tour. And for those of you who don't know, that is Ed Sheeran's mathematics tour, where it's a culmination of all of his albums into one giant performance. Basically, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, Ed Sheeran's version. <laughs> and it lived up to every expectation that I had and surpassed it even. I just, I love everything about this man. He is so talented in every aspect. Was I planning on going to the mathematics tour to begin with? Absolutely not. In the back of my head, I was thinking, yes, I would want to go to this, but also I really didn't have a lot of friends that were free and available to get last minute tickets to this tour. So I was definitely not going to do this by myself. I am not the kind of person who goes to events by themselves. I need to have a little buddy next to me, somebody there who I can be familiar with in this new place. But I really, really wanted to go to this tour. I just, it, it's been such a crazy, crazy month for me and it's been so busy. And as an introvert, I was like, I just need time for myself. I need to do something for me. Sorry if you hear her up there. <laughs> it was great, right? You wanna be in the video? You wanna be in the video? <laughs> anyway, I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw an advertisement for the mathematics tour coming to Landover, Maryland. And I couldn't tell you how much I was shaking arguing with myself, telling myself that I need to go to this tour. It's my favorite artist. He's singing all of his album songs. When is he ever going to do this again? Never. When am I going to get the chance to go and see him in person in my state? Never. I said, okay, let me look at these seats. Let me see if there's anything available still because it's like three days before this, this performance happens. So... Let's go. So I'm zooming in and I'm looking for the perfect seat. Now, if you don't know what Ed Sheeran's layout looks like, I'll put a little picture here. So essentially, it's a 360 degree stage. So anywhere that you sit in the arena is not obstructed. You can see you can see everything that's going on. There's some giant poles that have um, screens on them. So if you sit in front of one of those, then you can't see the screen. So I was looking at this map, trying to see where I can fill in the gaps here, right? And I see this corner right under the press box. And it's pretty much empty. It was in the perfect location in between two of the big poles. And I said, you know what? I think this is a sign that I just need to go, I need to commit to this, and I need to go to this concert. It honestly took me two tries to fully commit to going to this concert by myself, but after expiring the first time on Ticketmaster buying a ticket, I went back again and double confirmed with myself that I'm going to this concert by myself. And I'm so glad that I did. If you ever get the chance to go to an Ed Sheeran concert, you'll notice a couple of things that are super unique to his way of playing music live. Um, the first is that he plays on a loop pedal, so all of his music is unique at every single show. No show is the same. Maybe the set list is the same, but essentially he's playing the music from start to finish absolutely live from scratch. He knows that his biggest fans are there, right? He also knows that there are people that don't know his discography, and so he was ready to play sing-along songs. Well, let me backtrack here. When I got to the arena, traffic into the stadium was insane. Like, I was sitting in traffic, literally on the curve into the parking for probably an hour. And I had a reserved parking, so I just headed straight into my spot and it was it was it was really nice that I I kind of saw that in advance and 
did that because then I would have had to walk pretty far um, and we'll get into why I'm glad I parked really close to begin with. I parked my car. There's actually a lot of parking by the time I got there. Um, I'd missed the opening act, unfortunately, but I was at the show where Ed Sheeran had to open for Ed Sheeran and I could hear him singing curtains from outside of the arena and it was beautiful and I was so sad I wasn't in the arena to hear him and see him open for himself um, but I could hear him as I was walking to the stage or I was walking into the entrance so that was really beautiful. So when I actually got close enough to the, to the arena and I started figuring out what gate I'm going to walk through and how to get into the actual building. Um, I was carrying my bag. I obviously had a clear bag, a concert approved bag, um, and I really didn't have all that much. I had a, I had a battery pack in there um, and a few of the, what are they, earplugs because it gets really loud and it's nice to protect your ears. And I also had my camera with me in the bag, um, which I thought I could take into the arena, but I couldn't, so when I put my bag into the, the security check, the guy was really nice about it, but, and you could tell that he didn't really know what to do in the situation, because he didn't want to, you know, turn somebody away and say, hey, you can't bring this in, go back. Um, but he was really nice about it, he said, you can't bring this into the arena, even though um, it's like a really simple camera, it doesn't even zoom, it's literally just press record and you're done. Uh, but he said, it's not allowed in the arena, so you gotta take it back to my car. So, yeah, I was really grateful for that close parking. So, <laughs> I scurried back to my car, threw the camera back into the car, hit it a little bit, and booked it back because Ed Sheeran was about to finish his set and I was wanted to catch the end of it. Um, so I show everybody where my seat is. I'm like, tell me where I'm going. I've never been to this arena, so what direction am I going to? Um, so they pointed me in the right direction and I found my seat. And it was so good. I, it was not obstructed at all. I had a clear sight of the ginger man. It was so good. <laughs> One of the songs that he played for the first time on this tour was Visiting Hours. He said that this was the first time that he was playing this song in America on his American tour. Visiting hours, so I could just show and bring And I will admit, I definitely did cry during Give Me Love. It was so powerful. I... I... <laughs> I'm still speechless. It was so good. So an absolute highlight of this concert was when he played his collaboration album as a single mashup. What I'm telling you, when he went from song to song to song to song to song to song, it was so good. And like, if you didn't even know that he had a collaboration album, it was definitely a perfect sample of every song that he had on that album. So I'm just going to play that now and have you listen to it. It was so good. And Ed Sheeran is known to write a lot of songs for a lot of different artists. And one song that he regrets giving away to another artist was Love Yourself, which we all know Justin Bieber sings. And it's a really good song and it's definitely made for his voice. But Ed Sheeran said if it's his song, he can play it too. So he played it for the whole audience and it was an absolute jam. We had a great time just singing it out loud with him. Galway girl really made me want to pick up my violin again, but it was so much fun. I'm telling you, it was, I'm so glad that I went and I got to experience all of this. I was so nervous to go to this concert by myself though. Like I, I've never gone to an event by myself that I had paid for and like committed wholeheartedly to go to, but I've paid for some events that I 
was like, I'm gonna go to this by myself and I'm going to commit to going to this and then I just don't and like I, that is such a thing that I want to overcome and this was definitely the first step of doing that and a really big step and I'm so glad that I did it. It was the best time of my life and do I wish that I would have gone with some friends? Yeah, absolutely. I think it would would have been super fun to just be with your friends and jam out to, you know, one of your favorite artists ever. It was also a really good chance for me to just take in my favorite artist and play along, sing along to all the songs that I love and I enjoy and not have to worry about people wanting to get some merch or going here or missing a few things or grabbing dinner before, you know, all of the fun, fun little group things that you do before a concert. I can kind of bypass those and just, you know, be with myself and really take in the concert for what it was. If any of you guys have gone to the mathematics tour, I'd be more than happy to talk about your experience and how amazing or how surprising some things were for the for you at the concert. Um, I hope that you all have a fantastic week, a fantastic day, and that hopefully we can catch up another time. Bye-bye.